Hello guys and gals. So today we're going to talk about the recent financial struggles with uh, Nintendo. Initially I was going to put out a video uh, several days ago when I had some free time and talk about what I felt they needed to fix in their company, what they needed to do right now, yada yada yada. But uh, an investor meeting of sorts happened yesterday and a lot of stuff came out of that. So uh, yeah, basically this is just with the given knowledge now I'm doing a video. So uh, if you haven't uh, known for a while, uh, Nintendo's been having a lot of problems selling the Wii U. Uh, the 3DS is selling really good. It's on its way to being one of the highest selling things of this generation. The games are selling great. Everything's great for the 3DS. The Wii U, however, has been struggling. I believe it sold a little over 2 or 3 million uh, consoles. You can correct me if you want. And really, it's not selling as ideal as Nintendo wanted it to sell. Or really anybody, if you're a fan of that stuff. So, the other day they talked about... Um, all these different things that they want to do for their company since you know their stocks and, and whatever are plummeting and they had to buy back some stocks and all this other crap all this business stuff and uh, some interesting stuff came out of that so first off uh, the president uh, Iwata came out and talked about how they want to strengthen the use of the gamepad for games and how they wanted to fix loads by doing a quick thing on the gamepad no, I mean, I'm not going to argue with this. I think it's great that they want to do more with the gamepad. However, the big focus really should be that they, they have to get games out for this, which we're going to obviously discuss in this video. Uh, the other thing that they talked about was how they want to do more opportunities with partnerships, more IP things, crossovers of that sort, which I'm, I'm cool with. I don't think anybody really can argue with that. I think that's that's pretty neat. They talked about a DS virtual console library, uh, which is great, but where's the GBA one and the, maybe even GameCube? Where's the other stuff, you know, that you promised? I don't know about GameCube, but I know GBA they promised. Where is that stuff? You know, I can understand what the logic they're going in with on the DS, how it was a very strong seller, had a strong library. Uh, they said that there's some hurdles into getting it to work, but I'm sure they'll work out the kinks. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, that'll be good. I, I, I really want to play Measured Prime Hunters on, like, a TV screen. Is that weird? I think that'd be cool, like, multiplayer and stuff. I mean, I don't know how that'll work. But, uh, I, I, I guess kudos to them. I, I, again, I wish they would, they would, you know, go back to the other stuff they promised us first and then work on that. But we'll see how that turns out, I suppose. Um, and the big thing that came out of it was they announced they are having a small team develop smartphone applications they're not sure about games just yet now this is a good and bad thing it's good because they'll make some money on the side it's bad because it's like holy crap nintendo is making stuff for phones um i guess the good that could come out of this would be a history app or a guidebook app with maps for a particular game or whatever uh, i'm sure it'll be all right clocks i don't know I, I guess it's okay i mean i'm not really mad about it more or less just kind of surprised I suppose because so many people demanded it but I wasn't certain if the people that demanded it wanted to just see Nintendo fail or they really wanted it so it's going to be interesting to see if these people put their money where their mouths are uh, as for what I think they should do this is just my opinion not a fact here a lot of the people online known as armchair developers quotations the guys that are like oh you got to do this and that company that I love and you'll be saved <coughs> I've been sick for a while, so I figured I was going to cough in this video. Uh, a lot of them tend to say this line. They tend to say, oh, they need more third-party support. Nintendo's had a really strange history of third-party support from other developers, and uh, usually a lot of the time they have to rely on their first-party stuff like Mario, Zelda's, Pokemon's, that sort of thing, to get sales in and whatever. But uh, I'm going to tell you what I really think they need to do. First off, they need to reestablish themselves as a brand, okay? You can't have third-party developers. You can't have anything without console sales. You can't have anything without an audience. You need to reestablish yourself, okay? In order to do that, you need to have games that are going to propel the system, and you need big hits that are going to make the system the must-have system. Now, I found it interesting because out of the investor meeting of sorts, they said that Mario Kart 8 is coming out in May. Now, they didn't say what countries, maybe they'll surprise us with a worldwide release. However, Mario Kart was a tremendously huge title for the Wii, so much so that it sold around 38 million copies, I believe. 
So for me, I was kind of surprised because I thought that would be their holiday hit. And they'd probably put Smash Brothers or something in front of it that would propel the console. Either way, I could see this working out in a sense because now they have a huge game coming out so early. Unless, of course, it's not coming out early overseas, then that's like really shitty, to be honest. Uh, they need a big game like that to propel the console and make it enticing. Uh, make sure the online's actually good, guys. And uh, then get more games to propel the, the console into a point where they can finally reach out to other people. Uh, and, you know, uh, then talk to developers and then get those games, those exclusives back on the thing. They have to make the console appealing. It's all about networking and, and, and again, making your brand known. Nintendo is known. However, the Wii U is not known because it's just a U attached to the initial title of the Wii console. And a lot of the casual people that don't game don't know what the fuck it is. Hell, I don't even think half the gamers know what it is anymore. And it's funny to me because a lot of people will criticize how the Wii U is a generation back. But the reality is, is that it shouldn't be easier to develop for with other third-party developers. I guess it's the gamepad that might create the issues, but I mean, come on. I mean, it's it's kind of what the whole thing is about. I really want to see somebody develop a really nice RPG system, RPG game with a nice gamepad system. I skipped words there that have menus and maps and stuff on the pad. Maybe X will do that. I don't know. But look, look at the bright side here, okay? Nintendo has a pretty awesome lineup of games coming out this year, even if you don't like them all. I mean, I sure as hell don't like every one of them. But they can easily bring themselves back up. This was the company that two or three years ago, when the 3DS came out, was a complete fucking flop and everybody said oh this was a gimmick and all oh, this was bullshit and now look at it it's like fucking selling like hotcakes and everybody loves it you know this is this could be the wii u this isn't just you know uh nintendo you know fans talking here it's just this reality you know this thing could still work you know i think people are jumping the ship already too early saying oh my god when did everybody start focusing on business so much i thought it's, i think it's hilarious seeing all these gamers like talk business now i thought it's it fascinating to me but it's just you know it's like it's like people forget you know what makes these things good you know these guys still have all these amazing franchises they just have to pull them out of their ass and now it's an e3 already and get the shit going they probably should do another price cut maybe and you know fucking bundle shit you know mario kart 8 with the system with the controller i don't know a little cheaper than usual boom that's gonna sell a lot of fucking copies smash brothers Fucking, don't even just throw the gamepad in. Throw the fucking Pro Controller in. Maybe an exclusive Wii U with a decal. Wishful thinking here. I'm telling you, man. I will shit bricks for that. I'll go out and fucking get one. Because, yeah, I, I, I am essentially part of the problem. You know, I don't have a Wii U. I'm waiting for something that I want. It's not to say that I don't like the games that are out right now. Like Pikmin 3, which I sh fucking sure as hell want. The upcoming Donkey Kong, I sure as hell want. You know, Wind Waker HD, as sure as I want. 3D Mario, whatever. I want all that shit. However, I need something that's really going to captivate me to buy a console. For me personally, it's Smash Brothers. I've probably talked about this 100,000 times. So for me, like, if they did a bundle with a pro controller and a little bit of a cheaper price point and the fucking game, and not digital, a physical fucking copy, because that's like, that's like a hardcore game, right? Uh, you would definitely have me and a lot of other fucking people. And the same thing goes with games like Mario Kart, you know? Uh... You put out a new Zelda or something, E3, you announce a fucking new Metroid or Star Fox or whatever. Use that new partnership idea that you just announced the other day at your investor meeting. Get somebody competent to make a new fucking game out of one of your IPs that you're not using or you keep fucking up. It's very simple. You know, build yourself up again, Nintendo. Get your fucking shit together. Get out of the rut. Put some fucking games on this console. Talk to some third parties after it's all said and done. And get your console back in. Even if it's the lowest selling console of the generation, you don't want it to be the biggest fucking flop ever. You want it to hit some good numbers. So that's all you really need to do, Nintendo. Fucking get your shit to sell. Make good games. Make sure the online's great. Make sure you get good third parties. Hey, get some exclusives. Get some shit going, man. Light a fucking fire into someone's ass you know dude you know go back to the fucking 90s and talk shit do something so with that being said that is my opinion my thoughts on what nintendo should do uh i am intrigued to see what they're gonna do now i hope that this there's also i, I keep forgetting to say this there was a rumored console they said that they're gonna develop in 2015 to 2016 that's all about health please 
Uh, I'm intrigued by the gimmick or the idea. Oh, sorry, whoops, I'm gonna say that. Uh, that that it's it's health focused, but don't focus entirely on health, please. We don't need vitality sensors to play fucking Kid Icarus or whatever you're gonna put on that thing. You get the vitality sensor, you shoot the bow. You guys get that now? Okay. Anyways. Take care, everybody. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Nintendo? What do you think they need to do? What do you think they need to do game-wise? Uh, yeah. Like I said, give me... For me, man, you give me one of the big three that everybody's been asking. Metro to Star Fox F-Zero. And I will shed tears of joy and fucking buy that shit. Because I want to see some, some crazy shit in HD like that. Anyways, guys. Take care. Peace out. Later. Oh, and uh, Nintendo, work on another fucking Nintendo Direct soon, and let's hurry up with the Smash Brothers shit, all right? Because it's going a little too slow. Uh, it's just it's just too much of a cock tease for me. I'm sorry. Okay, bye.